In this section, we're going to be solving linear inequalities. A linear inequality is similar to a linear equation, but the equal sign is replaced with an inequality symbol, such as less than, less than, or equal to, greater than, or greater than, or equal to. So let's start with an example. We're going to be identifying solutions of inequalities. We want to tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of the inequality. So we have the inequality y is less than x minus 1, and they've given us the ordered pair 7 and 3, which are basically x and y values. So let's plug them into the equation. So our y value, 3, less than x, which would be 7, minus 1. And when we s simplify 7 minus 1, we get 6. And we can see that 3 is indeed less than 6, so this is a solution. Let's look at another example of this. We have the equation, we have the inequality y is greater than 3x plus 2, and we have the ordered pair 4, 5. Again, we want to substitute 4, 5 for x and y in the equation. So if we were to do this, y would become 5. So 5 is greater than 3 times 4 plus 2. So we can simplify the right side a little bit, keep the left side. 5 is greater than 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2. Let's simplify it a little bit more. And if we simplify the right side, we would get 14. And we can see that 5 is not greater than 14, so this is not a solution. Now we're going to look, see how to graph linear inequalities in two variables. So we have the inequality y is less than 3x plus 4. You want to start off by graphing 3x plus 4 like a regular linear equation. So the y-intercept is 4 and then the slope is 3. So in order to plot the y-intercept, go to the origin and then go up 4 and then using the slope, go up 3 units and 1 unit to the right because it's basically 3 over 1 and then we can plot that again and we can create a line using that but make sure it is a dotted line because of the less than symbol if it was less than or equal to then it would have been a solid line but because it's just less than it's a dotted line whenever it's just less than or greater than it's a dotted line if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to it is a solid line now because it says y is less than 3x plus 4 we have to shade in the area that correlates to this the inequality is less, so we have to shade below the line. And that's how you would graph the inequality y is less than 3x plus 4. Now let's look at another example of this. We have the equation, the inequality 3x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 6. So let's start by changing it to slope-intercept form. So we want to isolate the y, so we are going to subtract 3x from both sides to begin with. When you subtract 3x from the left side, it cancels out the 3x, leaving us with 2y is greater than or equal to 6 minus 3x. Now we want to divide the left side by 2 in order to isolate the y, so we have to divide the right side by 2. That gives us y is greater than or equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3, and negative 3 divided by 2 would be negative 3 over 2x. So we now have the equation y is greater than or equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 3. So let's start by graphing the y-intercept, which is 3, positive 3. So start at the origin, go up 3 units. And our slope is negative 3, 2. So you want to go down 3 units and to the right 2. And now we can draw a line for these points. So we have our graph, and you can see that the line is a solid line because of the inequality. It says greater than or equal to, and because of that, it's a solid line. The inequality is greater than or equal to, so we must shade above the line. And because of the way the line is slanting, above the line would be to the right. 